Hi, I'm Linda Matthews. Have you ever wanted to personalise your printables by adding some words to a journal card or tag or printable label before you print them out? It's not as difficult as you think and in this video I'll be showing you how easy it is to do using Canva. Canva is an online graphic design platform where you can create social media graphics, presentations, posters and other visual content. Canva has a free version which includes lots of content that you can use and it also has a paid version that has additional features. To add simple text modifications to your printables like the ones I'm going to show you, all you need is the free version. To get started, first log into Canva at www.canva.com. If you don't already have an account, you'll need to make one. After you log in, you'll land on the home page. Next, you need to import the printable file that you want to add text to. Canva allows you to import a wide variety of file formats for images, videos and documents. For this demonstration, I'll be using a PDF file. To upload the file, click the Upload button, then drop the file onto the Upload section. The file that I'm using is a PDF file with 13 pages. I make all my printables in PDF format because it's easy to print and it's also a very versatile format. When uploading a PDF file to Canva, you don't need to split the file first because Canva will automatically do that for you. So if you only want to personalise one or two pages, after you upload, you can then select the pages that you want to use and delete the rest. After the file has uploaded, click on the thumbnail and you'll be taken to the Canva editor. Once in the editor, you can see that all the pages have been imported. If you don't want to use all the pages, simply click the trash can on the pages that you don't want and delete them. Alternatively, you can just leave them all in case you want to come back and personalise other pages at another time. I'm going to add some text to a couple of these cards. To better see what you're doing, you can zoom in using the zoom tool located at the bottom of the screen. The cards that I'm using here are some of my printable moon theme cards. They can be used as journaling cards and I sometimes use them as bookmarks. To add text, select the Text tab on the left menu. You have several preset sizes that you can use, or you can just select the Add a Text box. Select all the default text in the text box, then type in your own words. You can move the text box by clicking on the little Move icon underneath and position it where you want. To resize the text, you can grab a corner of the text box and pull it in. Or you can use the size drop down box at the top of the screen. To change the colour, click the text colour button and select the colour that looks best. Now I'm going to change the font to something a little more interesting. Click the font drop down box and you can see that you've got a lot of fonts to choose from. You can preview a font just by clicking on it, which makes it easy to find one that you're happy with because there's a lot of fonts to choose from. I think I like this font the best, so I'm going with that. To make the text stand out a bit more, you can also add a background. To do this, select the Elements tab. From here you can select a frame or a background shape. I want to make a rectangular shape, so I'm selecting the square shape which I can resize. To resize, just grab the edge and pull it up and out to reshape it. Canva doesn't have a ruler, so it's difficult to position elements precisely. But if you need to, you can zoom in close to see what you're doing. 
To change the color, click the color tool on the top menu and select the color from the color palette on the left. I've selected a gold color and I'm going to make the background slightly transparent. To create a transparent background, click on the shape, select the transparency tool on the top right of the screen and then use the slider to adjust it. I'm also going to change the color of the font so it shows up a bit better. With the elements in position, you can now play around with the settings until you're happy with the way things look. When making changes, just click on the element and select from the options on the menu above and the one that pops up on the left. I think I'm happy with that, so I'm just going to add words to one more card. There are 52 cards in this printable moon themed card deck, but I'm only going to modify these two cards for now. If I want to add words to additional cards, I can come back another time and do that. In the free version of Canva, you get lots of options for fonts and images and many other types of visual elements. And as you can see, it's really easy to use. It's very intuitive, which makes it perfect for beginners to do simple graphic design tasks. OK, that's it. Now it's time to download and print. As I mentioned before, it's not necessary to delete any of the pages. And this is because you have the option to download each of the pages individually. To download, click the Share button on the top right of the screen, then Download. The file type you want to select is PDF Print, which is the best option for printing. In the Select Pages options, you can select all of the pages, or you can select any of the individual pages. I'm going to only print the first page, which is the one that I added words to. Also click the Flatten PDF option, as this will ensure that the words and the background image are properly integrated and the page will print without any issues. Then click download and the file will download to your downloads folder. Once the file has downloaded, then all you have to do is open the file in a PDF reader and print it out. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and you can follow these instructions to personalize any sort of digital file really. As you can see, it's very easy to do using Canva. If you enjoyed this tutorial, subscribe to my YouTube channel and also visit my website where you'll find free tutorials and printables for creative journaling. That's it for now. I'll see you soon.